Hey Nexus Core, it's your boy Jose, bringing you another deck profile, uh, this time on, you guessed it, not Narukami, uh, so Standard came out like two, three days ago, and we're finally, and you know, getting a new meta without G units, and that's pretty fucking nice, holy shit, I never thought I'd see the day. Anyways, let's start off the deck profile. It's the starter, Lizard Runner Undu. When Rotopon draw a card, literally every clan has this starter. It's kind of annoying. I miss four runners, but you know, plusing is is nice as well. Next we run four Dragonic Waterfall. Two SVRs, two VRs, because of the case split that I did, Rip Miles and not getting his SVR perfect riser. What this thing does is, auto, when it's placed on Vanguard Circle, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or greater rear guards and retire it. Good for proccing Raopia, nagging your opponent so, like, Gojo can hit you for, hit for the 11k boost. Just all around a good card, but the thing is, you don't want to ride at first, and that's because of its second skill. It is... Auto, when it attacks uh, Soul Blast to grade 3, and until the end of that battle, this unit gets plus 10k and an extra crit. Your opponent cannot call Sentinels to the Guardian Circle from hand. So, what this deck does, you're supposed to put, ah, you're supposed to put all the Force Markers on the Vanguard, apparently. That's what I did, and I've only, the only times I've lost were to OTT and Royals, cause Richard sacked two heals. Anyways, yeah, I really like this skill. Call him Mr. Clean, because he likes to clean. Anyways, what you the grade 3 you want to ride first is Dragonic Overlord. His skill is once per turn on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle Soul Blast 1. He gains 10k until the end of the turn. Second skill is when its attack hits, Counter Blast 1, discard 2 cards from your hand, restand this unit, and it gets... Drive minus one until the end of the turn. Now, for the first skill, I really rarely use it. Like, I'd rather use the Sulfur Bar or, uh, what's that other card called? Berserk Dragon. Or, uh, what else? Yeah, those are the only two. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rather use the Soul for that. The second skill I only ever use if I either get a crit or get a draw so I don't nag. That's pretty much it. Also, beautiful origin rare. If I didn't mention that before, I can't remember because short-term memory loss is a thing. Next, we run for Dragonite Nahalem. Now, Dragonite Nahalem's a really good card. When placed on rearguard, counterblast one, choose one of your opponents in the back row, retired, and this unit gets 5k until the end of the turn. Now, this card, like, it's good to snipe, ah, snipe, I was going to say snipe starters, but <laughs> we can't do that anymore. Just snipe those pesky grade ones like Wingle for Royals, uh, Circle Magus for OTT. Uh, I don't know anything about risers because they're not real. But yeah, just snipe the back row units, those boosters, ugh, sorry, hiccups uh, that you don't want to deal with. Next, we run... For Berserk Dragon, this one's skill is Vanguard slash Rearguard. When placed, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's Rearguards, retired, and, this, and if this unit is on your Vanguard Circle, draw a card. Second skill is when it attacks, if you have more Rearguards than your opponent, this unit gets plus 3k until the end of the battle. Now this is what Martial Arts Dragon should have been, instead of, you know, the piece of shit we got. But, you know, it's nice to be able to draw every time you ride. So, next final grade twos are three Dragon Armored Knights. Now, when it attacks, if your opponent has three or less rear guards, uh, gains plus five canes at the end of the turn. I've seen people run Spillover Dragon, or even the uh, demo deck version of this, but with Spillover, I feel like the deck counter blasts enough and I don't really use the soul late game because my win con is obviously Dragonic Waterfall and that one's Soul Blast to Grade 3. 
So, spillover won't help in that regard, because it's a grade 2 that gets sent to the soul. So yeah, Dragon Armor Knight, get that 15k attack, boosted by Raopia, he hits those magic numbers, as everyone put it. But yeah, really good card. Next, we for grade 1s, we run uh, 4 Embodiment of Armor Bar. Fun fact, this was honestly, this and the entire Embodiment series are my favorite cards in Kagero. Just have really awesome designs and shit like that. Anyways, what this does is, when it's placed on Rear Guard Circle, Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's uh, Rear Guards in the same column as this unit, retire it, and if you have more Rear Guards than your opponent, this unit gets plus 5k until the end of the battle. So yeah, just place them behind the Vanguard, retire that stupid booster, uh, place it anywhere, and just retire in the column. Pretty good. Next, we run four... Ah, uh, grab too many cards. Four Lizard Soldier Raopia. When your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, this unit gets plus five K until the end of the turn. Now, this thing, holy shit, it's like a great... It's literally a grade one Rochishin for uh, you Eradicator fans out there. It's so good. I love it. Uh, put them, like, behind... The Vanguard, obviously. Red Waterfall every turn, guaranteed 13k booster. 13k attacker if you want to attack with him. But yeah, you're going to be retiring every turn, ideally. So, pretty much guaranteed 13k booster. Next grade ones, we run 4, ah, four Flame of Hope Armo. During the battle that it boosted, this unit gets plus 3k. 11k booster. When your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, retire this unit, draw a card, and counter charge one. I really like this one. Uh, it's the only counter charging uh, Kagero has at the moment. And yeah, just really easy to pull off. It's, yeah, pretty good. Makes it a uh, break even. Next, we run two Dragon Monk Gojo. When it boosts, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, the boosted unit gets plus 3k at the, until the end of the turn. Now, I've seen some people run Dragonic Gaius, even Madonna Joka, but I prefer Dragon Monk Gojo, because he could be the difference between a, a one-to-pass and a no-pass, as Gabe put it, when I fought against Miles' Risers. But yeah, like, Dragonic Gaius is just the... If, you really want to push for game early on. But I feel like, eh, power is more important than pushing. Well, power helps you push for game a lot more than a crit would. Because if they see a crit, oh, they'll just overguard. But with this, then they're forced to overguard. I think that's what my reasoning was. It's kind of late, so... Yeah, let's, let's just move on. Next, we run, uh, for em Embodiment of Spear Tar. For, ah, shit. Rock Rakshasa. Uh, Shastakola, for you poor people out there. Leave a like if you remember that soda. It was, it was, honestly came in clutch when I... My family was poor. We still are, but I like to pretend that we're not. For uh, Draw PG, the fact that they made PG's draws is incredible. I love it. And it's not as expensive as Bari was back then. <sighs> I'm having flashbacks to $30 Baris, and that's really scary to think about. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> We run a final card, uh, four heal, Dragon Monk Gojo, 20k shield, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, no G-Zone, but I guess I'll show my, the force markers I'm using. I'm using one of the SCR Kai ones that I pulled from the case. Spoilers if that video hasn't been released yet. I run, uh, three regular ones. What, is that three? Yeah, three regular ones. Two, no. Counting is hard. Two regular ones. Uh, 
one Aichi one, one Overlord one from the TD, and three custom ones that I made, which look kind of shitty. I tried using the token approach that you use for um, when you make tokens on Yu-Gi-Oh, so they're made them from. Ah, this one doesn't. I don't really care for, but these two I do because. Favorite clan. This one was my favorite card from when I was playing in uh, Break Ride era. God bless Tempest Bolt. And this one's just because it's Vanquisher and it's the disappointing one. But yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions down, ah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. They most likely won't get answered. Uh, leave a hashtag, uh, Kagero is a clan. <laughs> if, uh, you made it this far. And yeah, I think that's it. Rip Narukami. Thanks for watching. Bye.